fellow Mega Tennis, and welcome to my garage. I do kind of just want to show off some of my coolest rare things. So without further ado, here is the coolest rare things I own. Let's get started. I'm going to start off with an easy one. Here is the pin you get exclusively at Anime Expo for Persona 5 Royal. I quite like it. It's nice, it's hefty. It's pretty big. However, it's not as big as these. These are the Persona 3, Persona 5 dancing pins that you could only get at Honey and Butter, which was a collaboration Atlas USA did, currently known as Atlas West did, to kind of promote the release of the, that game, or those games, rather. They're very nice, I think. They're really, really big. Here's my hand for comparison, I guess. And as you can see, Atlas loves big pins. So I love Digital Devil Saga. In Japan, what they did was you can actually get this as a bonus. This is a, I don't know what they call these, weird glass sculpture thing. This one has Gabriel. So the Digital Devil Saga 2 one is not much more sensical in its choice because they chose Pavardi. So Pavardi, not necessarily very, very, very integral to the plot of Digital Devil Saga 2, in my opinion. But there you go. So some of you guys know I love Trinity Soul. And here is my premium edition collection of Trinity Soul, which has the entire DVD set on it. So each one is a two volume set and each volume has approximately six or more <laughs> episodes. The first disc has a bonus, the commercial for Trinity Soul, which I think is kind of cool, and the promo movie. The first one also has an official art book. So if you look through it, you get some goodies. There's a bunch of cool things here. A lot of like poetry from the thing, as well as talking about the character designs themselves. As those, those of you who know, who follow me might know, this was all designed by, sorry, Jima. So final two set thingy. The bonus is a perfect guide, which don't really know what they mean. Here is a Wells Feather, which is that book that's integral to the plot of the, the movie or the show. And I really like this art a lot. Half of it is that, and the other half is more art book. I've shown this in my Jack Frost video, but this is my favorite Jack Frost plush. It's the Mochibi, you can't get it anymore, but you were originally able to get it at Anime Expo, exclusively at the Atlas booth. Squishy. It's cute. It's got a really big tail. So next up are a set of four masks. These are prizes for the 25th anniversary uh, lottery. You got this loser here, Krishna, Akarabi Habi, or whatever his name is. The law guy, Metatron, and my personal favorite, Bugaboo. So I wasn't gonna leave Demi Kids unrepresented. <laughs> this is the Devilizer disc gun. So Devilizers in, De in Devil Children are essentially how you summon demons. So you would take this, put it there, close it, and nice. So I decided to pull three vinyl records. This is the Persona 4 Arena original soundtrack arranged. I love the way this is printed because look at that. This is the vinyl. It's such a nice design. Oof. It's a nice little thing of Risei on the inside. I 
may, I may be mistaken, but this is a uh, pre-order bonus, I believe. And this is a track listing. You can still find them on, on eBay. Europe, usually it sells for about $28 to $80, depending. Here is the Digital Devil Story Megami Tensei soundtrack from the OST, or from the OVA. It's not necessarily Mega Ten related because it's, again, this is for the OVA. Look at that weird old Cerberus. Some amazing art. And as you can see, it says Dev Devil Roki. <laughs> I just love this art, it's just so good. If you follow me a lot, you've probably seen this. This is the Persona 3-5 dancing vinyl record. So one side is Persona 3, one side is Persona 5. And, you know, it's nice. Uses that, that art. <laughs> Which I think is kind of funny. I think it's very funny. So here's a weird one. Here's the gigantic Jack Frost figures. This is the original. And this is the luminescent or glow-in-the-dark version. Um, released originally about 2015, I believe. And this one was released for the anniversary. So it has the anniversary art. So as you can see, they're, they're printed nearly identically, but you, you can actually kind of see here, for me, there's a little bit of where the spray for the blue was um, kind of went over here. <laughs> it's in a lot of other places too. I, like, I, I kind of prefer this one over this one. There's a lot of paint imperfections on mine. They both stand. As well. So I gotta move all this stuff. Just wait a second. And now for the creme de la creme. These babies have been with me for a few years now. Let me just show you what they are. So these here are the anniversary wine. So one of the weirdest things that they did to celebrate the anniversary was release limited limited made to order sets of wine so as you can see it's one of those put together pieces where it's a bunch of different art and this is the cap What I really like about these is each one is a different flavor. And the flavor seems to be based on the alignment. This is a red wine to represent law. Here's a white wine to represent chaos. And here's some sake to represent humanity. What I like about these is that the red wine and the white wine are both fruity, so they're gonna taste really good. And I think that's very fitting. So, yeah, that's that too. And that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you like it, I might do more videos like this. Anyways, thanks and goodbye, fellow Mega Tennists.